How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. I am back in Southern California, and today I want to show you what the process is like to get an airplane flying. A brand new airplane that's either factory built or built in an experimental shop. As you all know, I've been building a Sling TSI, and my airplane also is getting ready to go through this process. So I'm going to turn the camera around, and you're going to see how an airplane is prepared because the DAR agent will be here shortly to inspect the plane. Stay tuned. So guys, if you see, I'm out here, and this double hangar is all they've got is planes being worked on. And some of these planes are going to be inspected for the first time. My airplane is all the way back there, which I'll give you an update on that shortly. But uh, today, this airplane over here, is going through its inspection and they're gonna be ready to get this baby flying now if you don't understand the process when you're building an airplane or even if it's factory built this airplane actually is factory built this was not built as an experimental this is a light sport and it's factory built but before you can get this plane flying in the air or test flying it you need to get the green mark from the FAA and the process basically is you get the airplane ready, you've built it, a DAR agent comes through, you know, they check your paperwork mostly, and uh, they also check with you and all the work that's been done on the airplane, and they make sure it meets all of the prerequisites and all of the requirement uh, for safety, obviously, um, and then they can either approve or tell you, okay, you need to work on this uh, and something else. As you can see, Jean is over here, uh, making sure this thing is ready and I'll show you some of the things that you know needs to happen for for the uh, for the airplane to be set ready for the AR agent even little things like this you see this stickers here like you've got for the fuel tanks so these are required so little things like this your stickers and also, both on the exterior and in the interior, all the stickers that are supposed to be there. Uh, for example, if this aircraft was an experimental, it should say experimental, you know, somewhere in the interior. But guess what? This is a light sport. And guess what? You see light sport there. So if that wasn't there, that could be something the, the DAR agent might scoff at and say, well, this is, you know, all the things required here is not here. And then you've got the downside of the cowling open this will be closed before the uh, designee gets here let's go around it and also to give you an overview of this actual airplane this is the sling NGT it says next generation trainer and these models of the sling were built specifically for flight schools so if you were starting up a flight school right now this is an airplane you would take a look at and the beautiful thing about this aircraft is that you can train multiple uh, licenses in this. So I'll give you an example. Let's just you look at the interior here. This airplane is IFR equipped. Now, it's not set to go on actual IFR uh, weather, but you can use it to train for IFR. So you've got the GTN 650 there, and you've got a G3X Touch. You also have an autopilot. So basically for a brand new student, if you are starting a flight school, you can use this airplane to get a sport pilot license, a private pilot license, an instrument rating, and even a commercial license because the FAA set rules that if an airplane is deemed technologically advanced, which has to do with the avionics, then it can be used to train for all of these uh, tickets. And so this airplane, like I said, is getting ready. Another, you see here, just little details like this. You see what they just put this in, and this will have the aircraft information uh, on it. And so the, the designee is gonna check for all those things. Even this. Um, but, you know, from the look of it, this looks like a complete airplane. And, you know, once they're done putting all the stickers in, and putting all the labels and making sure all the screws and, and rivets are in good set place. Uh, and then we'll probably just wipe it down and make sure the, uh, the FAA agent sees 
good stuff when they get here. Also, transponder, all those good things uh, with the avionics has to be set before the designee get here. So for those of you out there who are either uh, looking at getting an experimental or a factory built, factory built obviously, um, if you're buying say from a Piper or one of the more conventional companies, all of this stuff is done by them already. Um, so you don't get to witness this process, but I'm just letting you know, this is what will go into it. Um, so if you were building with a small shop or something like that, uh, this is a process you have to go through. And then you set your registration and all of that good stuff. And same as this airplane, the one behind it, which is a bigger four-seater, will also go through uh, the same process. And so will my airplane, which is in the second hangar. Okay, so that's the process guys and actually the the designee will be here in about 15 minutes and i'll see if i can cover that on video uh depends if they let me um and so you guys can see that process as well so guys once the airplane is done with the inspection we pull it out and you go flying and this one did pass with good flying colors and so the next step now is to go up and do three takeoffs and three landings make sure all that is good and then you have your plane and you can go do your test flight or just go flying. Stay tuned. Central Valley traffic, 793 Gulf, 5,500, about three miles east of Lake Skinner, northbound towards Hammond, Central Valley. End of pressure rate traffic, uh, sling 50 Lima's left crosswind for left hand circuit 18 French traffic. Alex, I'm on left crosswind for 18 French Valley, foot traffic. Welcome to overtake me if you like. Valley Experimental, left downwind for 18 French Valley. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the new channel, Mojo Grip Clips. We've got basically short clips of all the videos and some videos that are not actually available on Mojo Grip. You have a shorter clip there. They're all two to three minutes long. All right, make sure you subscribe to that channel and thank you all so much for your support. Be sure to check out mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and consider becoming a paid member. I appreciate you watching, sharing, and leave your comments below. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace.